Hello and welcome to Grammar TV. I'm Taryn Edwards. And I'm Hannah Sexton. This is the first episode of Grammar TV and hopefully the first of many. This will be a regular news show run to keep students of grammar up to date with current school events. This show is run entirely by Grade 10 students in their newly offered broadcasting class. This class will be open to both Grade 9 and 2 students next year. This show has been made possible by a generous donation of equipment from the Barstow School in Kansas. GTV is live to record, meaning what you're watching is recorded from start to finish without editing. Today our first story is covering the recent SNAP exhibition recorded and edited by Noah and Alec. Mr Snell, Head of Visual Arts at Grammar, founded the SNAP Photographic Scavenger Hunt in 2007. Being the only student photographic competition within Tasmania, it's a chance for students to showcase their talent and creativity with a camera. The competition was open to all students ranging from grade 9 to 12. The students were asked to photograph 20 categories listed on the SNAP website. The entrance was split into two categories, junior and senior. There were 230 entries across the state with Grammar's Izzy Priest winning the junior category and Sydney Triffitt winning the senior category. After months of hard work, the competition closed on Friday the 25th of June with the shortlisted students' work hung on the walls of Poimena Gallery. The exhibition will be displayed until the 12th of August. Our next story is on the German trip undertaken by Katrina Wong, produced by Gillian and myself. Hi. My German teacher, Frau Rangalen, and then she said to the whole class that we could apply for this scholarship. Um, I got interviewed and then I had to write an essay and then I got chosen. Many people from different countries went with me as well, so I had two other Australians that came with me. So we had to just travel around and sightsee, so we went to Bonn the first week and then for the next two weeks we had to live with a host family and then we attended school and activities that our host family and just like partner did. It's definitely amazing and it's, you should apply for it because it's an amazing experience. We're now going to hear about the senior production Crazy For You, the story produced by Nat Nguyen. As many of you would know, the Grammar Senior School musical production has recently come to a close. George Gershwin's Crazy For You opened two weeks ago, transforming the hall into a vibrant mix of dancing cowboys and singing showgirls. It was a showcase of musical and dramatic talent, starring Tarrant Edwards and Sarah Durkin. While we're all still biding our time, we're all sure that next year's production will be an enormous success. In the last week of the holidays, a group of choir students travelled to New Zealand to participate in the Pan Pacific a cappella competition. The group had the honour of meeting Dee Sharon, vocal director of Pitch Perfect, as well as attending his masterclass. The competition was a successful one for Grammar. The fellows competed in the 25 years and under male category, and their performances of Change the World and Stand By Me won them second place. The Tua Senior Vocal Ensemble competed in the mixed 25 year section and placed third. On top of the singing, the students had a great time exploring Auckland, and thanks must go to the music department for their ongoing support. In the very last week of Term 2, a selection of grade 11 and 12 students travelled to Sydney to take part in an annual school art trip. The art production students involved themselves in a range of art focused activities, including visiting the White Rabbit Gallery. Free time, which I'm going to shopping and just hanging around Sydney, which is pretty cool. So, what was your favourite part of the trip overall? Uh, well, the White Rabbit Gallery was very good. Um, we had a guided tour around the gallery, and that was really good. Um, so, all the artworks in there were just from Chinese contemporary artists. Um, and yeah, we learned a lot from the gallery, and yeah, it was really good. So, do you think that you could apply anything that you learned over there to your work here? Definitely, I think a lot of the work from the John Calder collection was very inspirational to all of us and we'll take a lot of that for our own work. Not only was the trip enjoyable, but it proved to be beneficial. The students were able to draw useful and relevant information from their time away and even discovered new creative elements they could potentially bring to their own work. The Sherborne girls came to stay with grand families for a month. If you hadn't met them, their names are Yasmin Birch, who stayed with Jesse Vittorius, Sasha Noakes, who was with Ella Haverly, Zara Smith, who was with Abby Savage, Emily Tubbs, who was with Sarah Wills, and Thea Berry, who stayed with Millie Wickham. 
The five girls were able to go to school with the other girls for most of their time here and experience going to a mixed school and what it's like not to board. They were able to make great memories over here and vice versa for the grammar schools over in England. Here is a video of the Sherborne girls talking about what they thought of grammar and being in Tasmania. Uh, we chose to do this exchange because it's like a massive experience. Um, we get to travel. <laughs> yeah, we get to travel, find out about a new culture and the boys, mainly the boys. No, I'm joking, the new culture. Yeah, that's right. uh, I really like like the whole attitude, everyone's more laid back Everybody's here. Everybody's so friendly in Australia, in England. Boys. Are... Everybody's really sporty. So. Yeah, it's just cooler. Um, Tasmania is so much colder, like right England now. has heating. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a lot more like open spaces, I think, down here And the people Tasmania. are like really yeah. friendly too. Yeah. In 2015, Patrick Yates entered in the Frank McDonald Prize, submitting a series of artworks reflecting a story on Tasmanian brotherly love, which had interested him. Uh, the competition was uh, Frank McDonald, and the, the theme topic was um, how the, the First World War had a devastating effect on Australian society, what good came out of it. And I told that through the story of these two guys. So the story was basically these two guys planted a tree each before they went off to fight and then they go off and then one of the tree dies as one of the guys dies and then he comes back and he sort of has trouble coping with normal life and so within the story I told that the things that kind of uh, come out of it that were good was like they fought for us like the future. Patrick's work is being displayed at QV Mag in, Ma in Varesk. That brings us to the end of our first show. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to bringing you more news for the months to come.